Hi students, uh, the next topic was the grid layout. So we already seen the flex layout and uh, this was a grid layout. A small difference is there between the flex layout and the grid layout is, suppose if you are taking as the flex, uh, the flex box was designed for layout in one dimension, either row or a column. Whereas grid was designed for two dimension. Okay, the two dimension layout that is the rows and columns at the same time. So grid was designed. Grid was designed for two dimensional layouts. For two dimensional layouts. That is the rows and columns at same time. Okay, so whereas flex is, flex was designed for one dimensional, one dimensional layout. Okay, so either row and column you have to be right. So that is the main difference between the grid and the flex. So here in the CSS grid layout, the modules, uh, whatever the modules offers a grid based layout system with rows, columns and that is making it easier to design the web pages. So without having to use floats and positioning with the help of the grid layout, you can uh, draw the, uh, divide the page into modules. Like let me show you that. So let's take this as a web page, a web page with which consists of divided into modules. Okay, so this is a header. Let's take this as the header. This is a menu, main, right, footer. So this is a grid layout. So this grid layout was designed for, it's a two-dimensional layout. Why I'm saying this is a two-dimensional layout? Because the page is divided into rows and columns at the same time. So these are the rows and here you have seen the columns. So this is the representation of grid layout. Let's see the grid elements. So what are the different elements that we used in the grid? Grid elements. Grid layout consists of parent element with one or more child elements. It consists of parent element with one or more child elements. So just like a flex layout, in the flex layout also you yeah, are having the parent element like uh, flex container and uh, child elements like the flex, uh, flex items. In the same way, the grid layout also, it consists of the parent element as a container and the child elements as the items. Let me write the example. How we are going to represent the elements. Let's take the div class. The class should be a grid container. So this grid container you need to write in the style tag of uh, uh, to display the grid. So that to display the grid you need to uh, initialize this grid container in the style tag. Div class. So this is a parent. The grid container is a parent. So one pa parent and one or more child elements that is a grid items grid item let's take the first item div tag close i'm not closing the grid container div tag so at the end i'll close the parent so in bit in the inside the parent there are so many children class is equal to let's take grid one more item two i'll show you how the output will look like uh, Let's take the grid uh, grid item. This time let me take the three. Div class. Uh, grid item. Let me take the four elements first. The four items. The child items. And I am closing the div tag. That is the main container I closed. So this is every item I started and ended with the uh, div tag. 
so here the output it uh, looks like the output the grid will be looks like this so by default uh, this is a container the container consisting of the items so it according it arranges in the rows and the columns at the same time it's a two dimensional so it's uh, one two will be in the first row and the three four in the second row okay let me insert one more element let let me insert div class is equal to grid item let me take a five i insert it five so then what will be the output now so now the output will it takes three columns okay and it's filled with one two three four five so that grid will be arranged like this so based on the items are increasing and that the uh, rows will be uh, columns will be increased uh, so this is a grid elements the grid element con contains one parent and number of chairs parent is a container and the child is the items let me show you the display property so this display property is very important to call these uh, uh, container and the items first you need to declare write the display property where you are writing this display property inside this style tag so HTML element can uh, HTML element becomes a grid container when it becomes a grid container grid container by setting display property HTML becomes a grid container by setting a display property to grid or inline grid to grid or inline grid how we are going to set this property example just you need to write dot grid container so inside the container you need to write the display grid so whenever you have written this then only the grid will be appeared so this is the declaration dot grid container display grid so this is grid container used in the style tag thank you